everyone how lovely to see you my name is Marla Williams and I'm here to show you a few techniques we're thinking about upcycling and I thought we could try and glam up um, sort of cycling uh, containers that we have at home like jam jars or plastic bottles um, making sort of a cover for them and so that they can really look lovely for us to put our plant materials in to start off with i thought we could do um, a container cover using twigs and these twigs are from the garden i've cut them to the right height um, that will go with my vase my jam jar let's say and um, i'm going to try and string them together so I'm going I'm using paper covered wire and usually you'd use double the circumference of the vase so I'll and then you would um, twist the paper covered wire onto the stick three times start one third of the way down and then start third of the way down the other side and twist three times just to make it a little bit easier I'm going to cut off some of these extra bits so you'll be able to see what I'm doing otherwise I'll be poking my face out my eyes out I should say so there and then I'll get the next stick and place it beside the first one and twist it three times and carry on again and although over the period of time the sticks will shrink um, you can easily tighten them up by just placing some more wire and as you can see I'm starting to get sort of like a fencing effect so I can continue on until I cover the circumference of the vase and I have got one already done in true Blue Peter style here we go and here I've taken it all the way round and I've secured it together at the end just just going over to the next stick and binding it round and as you can see it fits beautifully around the vase and so this is quite adaptable for other containers and here we've got a plastic container which is a squash bottle and um, you can place it over the top and that could be quite a glamorous container for this plastic squash bottle so anyway so I've done that fill it up with water and then I have put together a supermarket bunch of flowers and foliage from the garden tied it together made a hand tie and I'm going to place that in the middle and there you have a lovely little bunch of flowers which will look lovely on the table. For my next design, I'm going to do plant material covering a vase. Here I have a, a glass vase which is available in Ikea. It's sort of got a nice little waist to it and I've put double-sided tape over in three places, bottom, top and the middle. And before that, I did a sellotape grid using sellotape just to to use for my plants so they don't run in together so I'm going to take off the sticky back plastic that I put on here let's see sometimes it comes off easy sometimes it doesn't oh here we go right so there we go take that off here it's not behaving itself there we go and I've got some I've got an elastic band here to help me secure 
my plant material so I'll just move that and just take it off and the bottom bit um, if you don't have double-sided tape you could use cellar tape single cellar tape and just double back on it that should work um, you can use glue if you want to but that's only if you don't want the vase and you don't mind the plant material staying on there permanently um, so I'm just having a bit of trouble trying to get this off here we go right so that's all secured together and the plant material I've chosen for this is this lovely formium leaf from the garden isn't it lovely so what I've done with the formium leaf is I've I've cut it across like so and then I've split it down the middle because it's then it's easier to go round the vase and then because we don't need such a height to it I've sort of cut it across like so and then this I'm going to put around the side of the vase like so so it sort of sits quite snug up against the double-sided tape and I'll continually do this all the way around until it covers up the vase making sure I touch the base of the vase which shouldn't be too much trouble I've got some already cut here I'll just do a few more and then I'll show you what else I'm going to do with it so again you can decide whether you want to keep the stripy side of the formium leaf showing or hidden it's entirely up to you so I've got a few pieces there and I'll continue just doing a few more like so so as you can see it sort of just comes out quite nicely don't worry about the gaps in between there because the plant material will cover that and then to finish off with I would just take another thin piece of formium and put it round the middle like so and in true blue peter style I've got one I made earlier and what I've done is I've cut the height of the formium in different levels and I've given it a slant just to make it interesting and uh, it's quite an interesting vase isn't it now from a plain boring white um, see-through to a plant material one and because this is such a feature I thought I would use some lovely magnolia sticks to go in the middle to give it a lovely height and and lighten the overall effect of the vase like so there we go and into that I'm going to put some flowers and again I've got some bits from my supermarket bunch um, I've got some lovely irises here and I'm just putting I'm going to make a line with the iris going from the back coming through and thinking about the space between the branches as I lead them through the design and my sellotape grid is helping me separate the plant material and therefore not falling to the side and I'll give this one out to the back to give it a bit of depth and then I've got some lovely Ulstromeria in white which I'm just going to pop through the sides and here just put this one in the middle there we go right and there we have our design using our our homemade vase pop that over there and for my third design I've got some chicken wire 
and I thought I would show you how to use this chicken wire to cover another container. It's another glass vase I have and um, I just thought because it's got such a wide area here it would be quite nice to have a grid and at the same time make it quite fun to use fabric for a change you may not have a garden to pick flowers from or, or foliage but everybody seems to have fabric around the house ribbons or even bits of fabric so I'm just going to secure this together using the wire So I'm just linking it through. I'm just finishing securing the wire onto the container and now I'm going to get the ribbon and so you can use any type of ribbon. Um, I think the softer the ribbon the easier it's going to go through and um, or fabric. You can cut fabric into strips and just feed it through and I've gone for some nice bright colours and feed it through all the way round like a little tapestry and, um, and take it all the way round like so which I'm sure you've got the idea there we go so continue going round like that and in true Blue Peter style here I have one I prepared earlier and I've gone for rainbow style which I don't need to explain why and as you can see um, got a nice grid at the top as well so I can get my plant material and here I've got some dill from the garden which I'm going to pop in because I do feel because the colour being really strong the dill is lovely, feathery, light and very sweet and great fragrance coming from it just to put in the middle of a, a lovely little party maybe something in the garden on your little picnic table so especially if you're having fish <laughs> so there we go and, and I've got some flowers again from the supermarket from my supermarket bunch and I'm going to put these through and irises which again great value at the moment and beautiful blooms nice shape pop those through and I've got some Alstroemeria in a lovely purple as well and here we have some lovely roses just to pick up the colour of the yellow from the irises and I'm sure this would look lovely on any table for a party there, there we go I hope you enjoyed seeing the three ideas that you can do upcycling containers and I, I wish you fun doing them and look forward to seeing pictures in the future. Thank you. Mm -hmm.